Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you like my very limited Threadripper edition shirt. Now, in this video, let's talk about what's coming with the RX 9000 series graphics card. So, we just had a media briefing with AMD just last week, a few days ago. And yeah, there are many things are on NDA I cannot share. But there are some things that I believe I can share. Uh, nothing critical, you probably have seen a lot of leaks and such already, but we're not going to go through that. So in this video, I'll cover some matter about dates and some other details like my prediction. I usually don't do prediction, but I feel like doing it this time just to give you a shot and see how far my estimated guess goes. So let's start with this. Um, let's talk about the dates, okay? The first thing is you have seen a lot of posters going around on the for the date of 28th February. Now, it is 28th February, specifically at 8 a.m. ET, which is Eastern Time Zone, and that's where AMD will follow up with their previous announcement with a new announcement of their RX 9000 series GPU. So that's when you get to see details like specs and such. We have already, all right? So those specs and such will be out on the 28th. However, Whatever performance you see is what AMD claims because there's another date that you need to take note of, which is the review embargo date. So yes, on 28th, you get to know all the, all the details of the upcoming product. But the date for the review embargo is 5th March at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, which is a week later. And then, yeah, so whether or not I will have a sample, I don't know yet. I think I might have, but well, if ever I have, you might get to see a hint on Facebook or IG, whichever. And then after the 5th March date, the next date that you need to take note of is 6th March. And that is when the cards go on sale, which I assume is going to be 12 a.m. or 6th March of Eastern time, which is 7th March over here in Malaysia. Now, is there pricing yet? No, there's no pricing yet. Based on the presentation, I can well, cannot guess actually. There are some details, but totally it's not something I can guess. However, um, I think from what I understand, the price will be reviewed at the same time on the 28th, which is, um, uh, I would say, I'm guessing that this is going to be just an announced price. So the actual retail price, based on my experience, is always going to be higher. Back when the 7900 XCX and the 7900 XT was announced, it was 999 US for the for one and 899 for the latter. And that time I was working at Astro. Even back then, the cost of the car itself is very close to the announced price. So by the time it reaches uh, the local retailer, so the price is a lot higher than what was announced, like some 15% or so higher. And that is just for their lowest end, which is the Astro Phantom Gaming series. So if you're in the US, for example, you might want to add some 5 to 10% from, from what's announced and maybe prepare yourself for a bit more. It's not, it's not an uncommon for the announced price to be not the one that is uh, going to be retailing at now. Next, what would I like to predict? Seeing that you guys like, many of people like a prediction. Uh, I personally do not have any details here, but here is what I'm predicting this time or what I'm expecting or what I hope for depending on how you want to word it. So I'm thinking the RX 9070 to be around the 7900 XT while the 9070 XT I'm thinking to be closer to 7900 XTX. Of course the XTX has a power draw of 350-ish watts but I think the 9070 will have lower power draw because it does not make sense if they have the same performance to power draw. Correct? And up next price. Again, they cannot be maintaining the same price to performance because even the 90, the 77,000 series, the XT and XTX, even locally at their retail price, they weren't doing that well. So I'm predicting that the models, um, RM3005 for the 9070, 4002-ish for the uh, 9070 XT because those prices are the only one that makes sense because that's about 20% off from last I saw retailing. So if any higher, 
I I don't think it's um it's going to be um, how you say compelling to purchase. Maybe ten percent less. I don't know. I go with twenty percent less, but ten twenty but ten percent less. Maybe maybe, but yeah, I'm hoping. That's my prediction. But personally, I'm hoping for it to be even lower, like RM two thousand eight for the nineteen seventy, and three thousand five, which is about seven hundred plus ish for the nineteen seventy XT. Again, what I'm predicting and what I'm hoping are two different things. Definitely me, and just like any other consumer, we hope for it to be low. But what I'm predicting is trying to be the best guess realistic one because my logic is that, like what I said earlier, the seventy nine hundred XT is already at RM. Four thousand four, and it's not a fast-moving car. To what I know, from back then until now, not something that a lot of people are looking for compared to the forty seventy series cars. While the seventy nine hundred XCX is pretty much non-existent, which is used to retail above around five thousand range, matching the forty eighty. I don't see it on market anymore. So I'm just going based on the seventy nine hundred XT, which is four thousand four. And that's where I think the price range should be, which is ten twenty percent less, or base TLDR eighty percent of the current price. Performance wise, yeah, I'm really hoping. I don't mind that the performance maintains similar to. I'm I'm more like I put it this way. I think the nineteen seventy XT could be a little behind the XTX in raster, while the nineteen seventy non XT. It's around the seventy nine hundred XT raster, but when it comes to RT performance, they should perform more and power draw less and price less. So basically, it does not make sense for everything to remain the same. So for AMD to really win this, right, the performance level at lower power draw and then at much better price point. In the end. Hoping that AMD does well for the pricing and take this opportunity. Well, we definitely need something really good for AMD from AMD this time, and definitely look forward for that. Now, with that said, thanks for watching, and yeah, uh, pretty much that. Let me recap the three dates again, just in case you forget or rather than instead of going back. So, twenty eighth February. Know that twenty eighth February at eight a.m. ET. That's where you will get the announcement that what we have been briefed the other day of all you need to know of the specs and such. Of course, there are sites that are leaking information here and there. I will not discuss on what's true or false, but definitely um, you will get your information in a couple of days, not a couple, almost a week from now, twenty eighth, and then you have to wait for another almost two weeks for the review to be up. I'm just hoping that my review process is not going to be um, difficult, like change of pricing or sudden update driver of drivers. It tends to happen. I have many experience with launches, and the one that I'm most afraid of is I have done the test, and then I'm ready to, to publish it, and then there's a new driver that says we have fixed this thing and increase in performance and such. Yeah. So and after after that, on the sixth, sixth of March is where. People get to purchase these cards. So that's with this uh, video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And bye bye. Oh yeah, Shred Reaper. Good stuff. Good stuff back then. <laughs> All right. Bye bye.